Hi guys, welcome back. This is episode 31 and first game up is against Everton. We're away. We lost the last game against Dortmund. I can't believe that stupid goal. But we're doing well in the league so I hope we can continue to do better in the league. I'm just going to change a few players around who may need a rest. I'm going to put storage back up front. Who else can we change? I think that's going to be it. Gareth Bale is a central attacking midfield. I should take the goalkeeper out to be honest with that dreadful goalkeeping in the last game. But I'll give him another chance. See if he can perform against Everton. We're on a good winning streak at the minute so we need to climb this league. Get back to where we belong. We are the champions after all. And no action, the whole game has been a pretty boring game once again, but Bell's through, oh my god. Is that our last chance to get a goal and get the winner, but no. And there goes the final whistle. A 0-0 draw, away to Everton. I'm not happy with that at all. Next game up is Capital One Cup against QPR. We've got Pogba injured for this game. So who shall put in? Mikel. And as it's a capital one cut, I might change some players around actually. See what we can do with the formation. I've mentioned this in the last episode or the one before. I want Gareth Bale and Danny Sturridge up front together. So let's see which one would work best for them. I don't want two defensive midfielders if I can help it. I don't want four up front either. Well, that one looks alright. 4 3 1 2. I think I'll have that one. Let's just make sure the players are in the right place. Mikel goes there. No, no. Walcott on the right side. Hazard as Cam. Put Danny Storage on for Nasri. Shall we give Piazon a game? I know one of you mentioned it in the comments in my previous episode to play Piazon, so I think he's going to get a chance in the Capital One Cup. Let's put Oscar in, I think, for Hazard. No. Yeah, let's put him in. Oscar in Phil, Mikel instead. And let's get this game on the way. We're away to QPR. See how we do in the same game that we played previously. We've already played him once this season. Let's try and get a few more goals than we did last time out. Playing a lot of away games recently. Go on, Chelsea. Oh, God, look. Rem is making us look silly. But well, 40th minute. Still no goals. Hazard. Good one, too, there with Bell. And Hazard's through. Is he going to make it 1 0? Of course. Easy. He's not going to miss from there. Slide the left footed shot in to the back of the net. And that's a good goal. He's been our best player this season. I think he'd, he was our best player last season. Hazard. Assists and goals, it's just unstoppable. Oh, lost the ball. Gareth Bale to storage, found its way to storage somehow. Shoots outside the area. Oh, it's hit the bottom of the post and that's gone in. Two quick goals. Great goal from Danny Storage. Not sure how the ball found its way to him. I thought the defender could have got there, but never mind. Into the second half, just over 20 minutes to play. Gareth Bale has the ball, a good turn. Oh, he's done another defender. He's gone through both of them, he shoots, and that's his third. That's Chelsea's third. It's his first of the game, but he's got an assist, two assists even. And now he's managed to score himself. And that should surely put us into the next round of the cup. 20 minutes to play, there's no chance that QPR will get it back into this. So, 15 minutes to play, QPR lose the ball, Danny Sturridge, 
Plays it out wide to Piazon. Shoots. Oh, he scored. Can you believe it? I give him his chance. Lucas Piazon has scored. A nice left-footed shot across the goal into the back of the net. 4-0 Chelsea. And that's QPR's cup campaign over. Come ref, blow that whistle. There we have it. 4-0. Good win. Some good goals as well.